For today's adventure, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and step away from all the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, no matter how good or bad it is. I decided to do something a little bit more dirty. I'm talking cults. You may have heard of a cult called the People's Temple where on November 18, 1978, in a place called Jonestown, Jim Jones and about a thousand of his followers committed voluntary suicide by drinking Kool-Aid. Now, Jim Jones was a preacher, a self-proclaimed healer from Indianapolis, and in the 50s, he started what is called the People's Temple. Eventually, they moved out of Indianapolis, here to California, set up shop in San Francisco, but they opened up churches throughout the entire state, this one here being in Los Angeles. Eventually, him and his followers moved outside of the country to a place called Jonestown, a place that they, they created. They ended up drinking grape-flavored Kool-Aid and committing voluntary suicide. Today the church is a Seventh-day Adventist church, still in use, and it's a historical landmark. And I want to say it's probably about six years before Jim Jones and his followers moved on to Jonestown. They bought this place, and it still looks identical. And supposedly on the inside, all the furniture, the pews, the red cushion chairs, they're all still here. It's like a Jim Jones time capsule. Concerned about the losing, losing of your sight. You're not able to see me clearly. Things just blur to you. You have to stumble around lately through crowds and are not able to see even people's faces close up to you clearly. That's true. You've told me nothing about. Your condition. That no, I haven't. Give that little sweetheart a little bit of love. Thank you, baby. Peace. Now. Take your glasses off. Just just dare in our faith. We've seen Sister Brown here who was blind, totally healed. We saw one of our sisters blind from her childhood. It could be hysterical blindness, whatever. We're not concerned. She was blind and could not see. Now, look at my face. I'm going to hold up some fingers. You concentrate hard. I love you. The people love you. And most importantly, Christ loves you. What do you see? How many fingers? One finger. One finger. Never shall forget what he's done for me. Oh, what he's done for me. This building is indeed massive. What you're looking at right now is the back side of it, but I do want to point out this white apartment building that's behind it. Back in the day, this is where a lot of the temple members lived who attended the church. When it comes to off the beaten dark paths like this in history, I often wonder if the people who live in these locations know the history. So just how many of them are just completely oblivious. 
you can just imagine the temple members leaving their homes and walking right down these steps across the little courtyard end of the church right here it's mind-blowing to me there if you go on YouTube and I'm gonna play a little clip of the sermon for you because he recorded almost everything that he said if you go on YouTube you can listen to the death tapes where he's convincing people to commit suicide for him and with him it's disturbing the bat with the green pea in please bring it here so the adults can begin Egg you don't don't fail to follow my advice you'll be sorry you'll be sorry that we do it and that they do it us trust you you have to step across We used to sing this world, this world's not our home. Well, it sure isn't. As we were saying, it sure wasn't. Yeah. He doesn't want to tell him. All he's doing, if they will tell him, assure these children. Can some people assure these children of the relaxation of stepping over to the next plane? But We've set an example for others. We've set 1,000 people who say we don't like the way the world is. Please stop. Take our life from us. We laid it down. We got tired. We didn't commit suicide. We committed an act of revolutionary suicide protesting the conditions of an inhumane world. And here's the back of the church. Standing outside filming one of the guys the maintenance guys came out to ask what I was doing and I told him about it I asked him if on the inside If a lot of the furniture was still there like I read online and he said yes, but I'm not allowed inside especially with a camera it Is what it is And that's it just a quick little stop I saw this church a couple different times driving through town so i figured it was about time to do something a little bit different